The soaring symbol of our nation is flying into dangerous territory. Green energy farms may be getting a free pass for killing bald eagles. Straight from the Obama administration? Joining us right now to weigh in is Al Cicery from the American Eagle Foundation and, of course, Challenger, the bald eagle. Al, good morning to you. Hey, good morning, Steve. How are you today? I'm doing okay, although I'm a little puzzled by this, uh, this new thing that the Obama administration has finalized, a rule that would give energy companies permits for wind farms that wind up killing bald eagles. Explain how this would work. Yeah. Well, first off, you know, I think this is appalling and outrageous. I don't think it's good conservation policy. I think this is a lot of politics. And, uh, and, and believe me, I, 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 I educate people on both sides of the aisle. I've been saving eagles for over 30 years. It took us over 30 years to bring the eagle back from the brink of extinction. A lot of work by hundreds of conservation groups and thousands of individuals across the country that put their heart and soul. And to do this, to give uh, power companies a 30-year hunting license, essentially, to kill eagles and other birds, is uh, I think we're opening a Pandora's box that uh, will kill millions of birds uh, over the next 30 years, tens of millions, mm -hmm. maybe, over the next 30 years. And I, I just I, I don't understand why uh, we're, we're making this compromise. Yeah, uh, Al, we've got a graphic we're going to put up that shows the number of eagle deaths from wind turbines. Uh, 67 bald and golden eagles have been killed in 10 states since 2008. The, uh, the state of uh, Wyoming has recorded the most mm -hmm. deaths. The, the, whole, the whole problem is, uh, folks say, you know, if you've got these great big wind turbines, they kill a lot of birds, and invariably there are eagles there as well. What do you want them to do, Al? Well, I mean, I think, first off, the 30-year permit thing ought to be nixed right now. I mean, we've already got five-year permits. What the government needs to focus on is, is putting a, maybe a $100 million prize into developing a bird-safe, uh, maybe a bladeless uh, windmill that can be used for the future that will be uh, more harmonious with nature. Yeah, that would be terrific uh, to save birds like Challenger, who's been on this set a number of times. Ultimately, though, Al, what you feel the current, is... The current... The, the current wind turbines are just too deadly. Mm -hmm. Ultimately, though, what you say is this really is, is just a power grab by the Obama administration. Well, I, I don't think it's just Obama. I think it's, it's, it's politicians in general around the country. It could be governors and, and other people that are involved. This is big money. You know, the government's putting hundreds of billions of dollars into renewable energy. Sure. And these, these wind companies are not making a profit right now, most of them. And the, the subsidies and tax credits and, and the grants that they're receiving from the government, it's an unbelievable amount of money. Yeah. Uh, the bald eagle's recovery got a microdot of the federal budget to bring it back over a 30-year period. The, these wind companies are just getting a, a, a grab of money that's unbelievable. Well, nobody uh, knows more about this subject than you. You've been saving eagles, as you said, for 30 years. Al Cicery and Challenger today join us from Knoxville, Tennessee. Al, thank you very much. Thank you, Steve.